What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today... We're going to go over some new content predictions and some things I've actually been wondering about in the game. Um, so we're going to go over a couple things in this video. First off, before we get into the video, make sure to drop a like. 110 likes and we give away some MT. Follow the Twitter down below for the giveaways because we do the giveaways on Twitter. Um, and yeah, before we do get into the video, uh, we're going to run this ad. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And yeah, guys, make sure to drop the sub, first off. Second off, man, I think we have St. Patrick's Day promo com coming tomorrow. We shall see. Um, hopefully, we do. By the way, this is my second video today. I think we're on a huge streak of double upload. So, guys, if you want to drop the sub... It's honestly worth it, bro. I post so much content for you guys. First off, market, MT methods, and all that good stuff. I know you guys do definitely like that. You've been showing some crazy support as of late, and hopefully we can keep this up. Hopefully 2K does drop content with this whole coronavirus craziness, because honestly, bro, this is insane. And honestly, as like a parent, like if you were a parent right now and you have your kids home and you have to go to work, like this is a big L. Like this is a very big issue no sports and a lot of worries and honestly i hope none of you guys do get the virus i hope you do stay safe and watch these videos and of course play 2k because honestly it's a dub for me but for some parents it's really not but anyways without further ado let's talk about what i think is coming tomorrow so saint patrick's day tomorrow so saint patrick's day means teams i'm guessing the celtics bro if they drop a saint patty's day promo it's got to be evolved around the Celtics, possibly the Bucks, and honestly, I don't know what other teams, but honestly, one card I have a feeling we could get tomorrow is Galaxy Opal Paul Pierce, or a, a Pink Diamond or Galaxy Opal Kevin McHale. If we do get those, I honestly think that would be pretty cool, but will they drop a lot of cards? All I know is what sounds crazy they dropped a crazy promo during leap year, bro. It's literally leap year. Like, no one expected that to come. St. Paddy's Day is not really that big. I mean, I would say it's pretty decently big. I don't know if they did drop content last year. But with that being said, if they do drop the promo and it's crazy, like the leap year, you're going to see a market crash. Honestly, I hope it is because I have my MT up. Um, we shall see what it is. We have no Paul Pierce. We have no Kevin McHale. We have a Pink Diamond Rondo already. Kevin Garnett Galaxy Opal, I don't know what we can see. And also, some things I want to talk about in this because it's honestly kind of kind of pissing me off a little bit. So, if you guys don't know, if you haven't realized, um, if you look at like the best teams in the game, like maxed out 99, 99 Opals, their overall tier is stuck at 98, 98. Now, this makes me think. If their tier is stuck at 98, 98, what does that mean? That This is one thing I'm kind of confused about. Um, if you're stuck at 98, 98, when your whole team is 99, there's got to be a different tier or a different card coming out. So now we just saw Ben Simmons Opal Evo. So that's interesting. What I'm thinking is this might sound crazy. I was thinking about it at work today. I honestly think they're going to come out with an all position card because as you guys know, uh, last year, there was no position lock, so you could run pretty much any player at any spot. Now, Giannis is only ran at power, point guard and power forward, yet he's a pink diamond. So, I'm thinking down the line, possibly in a month or two, they're going to have a card like Giannis that's an opal or maybe even a different tier that is evoed to every position. Now, honestly, it sounds crazy. But I honestly think it's very possible. So I just wanted to get that out there. I don't think Opals are the max tier. Or Opals are the max tier, but there's going to be a different version of it. And instead of having 99-99, it could be 100-100 with or 99-99 stats. And then since it's an all-card, like it's an all-around card, it's going to make your overall 
so that is what i'm thinking it sounds crazy it really has nothing to do with the content but we're gonna put we're gonna talk about both of these in this video so honestly might as well also bro dynamic duos are not in this game they are but they're so like old when are dynamic duos coming back we have so many cards that are perfect for dynamic duos per first off we got Giannis and pink diamond chris middleton that duo will be filthy and i think we need that duo we got kareem and oscar robertson there's no duo so i mean we could see a lot of things i personally would love to see duos back in this game um D i guess d rose and butler would have one there's just a lot of duos lebron and d wade there's so many duos that could be added to the game tracy and vince carter as well what are they doing there's no duos there's no gameplay there's no nothing but all right forget that i guess we can keep talking about the content so the content honestly if they do drop the packs they're gonna be expensive um they do know everybody is home from coronavirus like literally almost every single school is out of business like not out of business but not no one's doing anything bro the whole world is on shutdown 2k i think some workers could work from their house so honestly as a business as 2k if i were 2k i would honestly push to put out content because everybody's home not only that my views are up a lot today on monday monday's usually a really slow day and with a lot of kids being home youtube is honestly up so if 2k was smart they would release some fire content not only that a lot of kids would definitely spam the credit card on some content and like i said bro if you do need mt let me know down below some cars i'm gonna say that we are gonna get so like i said paul pierce kg are definite possibilities 100 percent possibility now any decent players in the bucks i feel like we're gonna see an amethyst or a diamond al horford i feel like that would be a kind of cool car to get i would also love a pink diamond kemba even though we do have one maybe a 98 <coughs> a gordon hayward would be cool i'm trying to think of some other celtics maybe a galaxy opal shack like i don't think he was even that good on the celtics i think i don't think um i don't know like literally let me know down in the comments but all as i know is that They've been dropping content on Tuesday, and they haven't dropped content on Tuesday for a while. Like, they dropped the buzzer beaters on Tuesday as of late. But the buzzer beaters, like, they're interesting. They honestly, I think I came to the conclusion they're going to do those bi-weekly. So, every other week, they're going to drop buzzer beaters. So, if this week's not buzzer beater, they didn't drop any content today, I'm really expecting the St. Patty's Day promo tomorrow. And also, man, if you guys did not sell your cards, you should probably sell your cards because you never know a 2K. They could drop bangers. Like, look what happened Friday. They dropped all those cards with a token market update. Not only that, man, the market is really high. And I believe if they drop anything, it's they. I hate saying this, bro. Like, it's got to crash sooner or later. Like, first off, prices are always going to go down from this point on. Considering the fact that, like, as the game goes on, prices are always going to drop. They're never going to be up. You know what I'm saying? So, like, throughout the week, based on the content, yeah, they're going to go up. But they're always going to end up being down. Like, in a month, bro, this Simmons is going to be like 300k. Unless the Prime Series award is crazy. And also, man, if you guys want to cash out on your Prime cards, I would recommend doing it because I was looking at it and KD is around 500k. Ben Simmons is around 600. Wade's around 140. And Zinger's at 140, 150. Not only that, something tells me somebody knows what this mystery player is, considering they went up so much. KD went up 200,000 MT. He was 300 something K the other day. He's up 500K. If you want to cash out, go ahead. I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking about buying Opal Simmons. I think it's, I think we're due. I think we got to get Opal Simmons regardless. But bro, let me know what you think. Because honestly, I'm telling you right now, somebody knows who this player is. Because if they went up that much, there's a secret leak somewhere in the community. And they're going to end up releasing it soon. They do have the fourth out. They're probably going to have a prime next week with the final card. And what that means is, honestly, they're probably going to somehow drop the value of Wade and Przingis because they're only pink diamonds. I feel like they're going to drop a locker code sooner or later with these cards in it. And one of these cards or two of these cards are going to lose a ton of value like the Wilt did in the other prime series. But yeah, that is really all I got for the video. And honestly, I think this video helps you guys out a lot. Pretty much what you get from this video Listen to my empty methods, sell cards now, and take a W. Don't, don't lose out. I would really honestly recommend selling the cards, cashing out the prime cards, and thanking me later, I guess. But yeah, honestly. And also, if you have these cards, make sure to sell them. They're not worth it. And really, that's all I got for the video. So, obviously, guys, I really hope you did enjoy. I hope you dropped that sub and all, all that good stuff. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace.